Welcome to this introduction to Microsoft Teams for staff in schools. This training has been developed to support staff in primary schools in the UK benefiting from Teams. There are many benefits to using Microsoft Teams in school. The values it adds includes that it facilitates collaboration and communication between teachers and between teachers and pupils. It allows teachers to collaborate, converse and share with each other. It provides a one-stop hub for files, documents, learning activities and resources, conversations, homework, diary, school plans, meetings and many more. This is the view of the Microsoft Teams platform. It can seem quite detailed when you first start to use it, but there are three main spaces within the view that make it easier to navigate your way around. The first of the three main spaces we will explore is the Me space. There are a series of icons in the left-hand column. Next to this, you will see the name of the team and any channels within the team. Channels are essentially individual areas within the main team. Within the Me space, there is the app bar. This has a series of icons. The top one is the activity bell. This will show a number if you've been sent or tagged in a post, if you've been sent a chat message or had a document shared with you. It is always worth clicking on this first to view the latest communications with yourself. The second icon is the chat. This allows you to send a quick message or to have an audio or video call with either individuals, groups or a whole team. Message threads are saved so you can go back and see the history of conversation. Messages are a quicker and simpler way than using emails to communicate with internal colleagues. Teams. By clicking on this icon, you can see at a glance all the teams that you are part of and select which one you want to use at any given time. The fourth icon is Assignments. As a class teacher, you can use this to create, schedule or view assignments for your class. Usually, this is used for home learning, but it can also be used to assign learning activities for when you are in class with your children. Next is the calendar icon. This icon takes you to your Microsoft Teams meetings calendar. You can view meetings you have coming up and you can create new meetings. Next is the Wii space. First, there are posts. This is a bit like a staff room notice board. By posting here, every member of your staff will instantly be able to see your post, which makes it much easier and more efficient to communicate with your whole team, particularly if you have part-time members of staff or some staff who cannot always find time to get to the staff room every day. Next along is Files. As Teams is a cloud-based platform, all Word, PowerPoint, Excel and OneNote documents in Teams are automatically saved online and are accessible to everyone in the team on any device at any time, whether they are working in school or working remotely. Documents can be created and reviewed by a number of staff at the same time, facilitating powerful in-time collaborative teamwork. Next is the staff notebook. There are three main types of notebook. Each can have numerous new sections created and renamed with numerous pages within each section. There's the content library, where OneNote pages can be accessed and read by everyone, but only edited by the staff member who created them. 
This is useful for sharing and storing key information, policies and decisions. Then there is the collaboration space, where OneNote pages can be accessed, read and edited by everyone in the staff team. This is a powerful collaboration tool that allows planning and resourcing ideas, notes from training, links, pictures, online videos and many other aspects to be shared and interactively responded to and added to. There are also individual notebooks. These notebooks can only be viewed by the individual member of staff and the member of staff who is the team owner. It can be used for to-do lists, planning ideas, useful online links, individual development ideas and evidence. You can also add extra tabs to the Wii space. For example, websites such as the Microsoft Educator Center or links to additional apps such as Forms, Wakelid or Flipgrid. There are hundreds of Microsoft and third-party apps that can be used directly within Teams. The Canvas is essentially the workspace for whatever you have selected. On this screen shown, we see the workspace for the Post tab in the general channel. If you were to select a different tab, or a different channel, or team, or app, the Canvas will change to show the workspace for whatever you have selected. This video has been created by Tim Clark, a member of the Digital Transformation Team at Cornerstone Church of England Primary School. To find out more about how we are using Microsoft Teams and a range of Microsoft tools, please contact Henry Penfold, our Digital Leader, or myself, Tim Clark, our Head Teacher.